This is Sexual Disorders on Peyronie's Disease and pre apism infomercial by Jessica Scott. The definition of Peyronie, Peyronie's disease consists of a disease that is development of fibrous scar tissue inside the penis that causes curved, painful erections. Peyronie's disease is quite common, affecting as much as 1 in 11 men despite the lack of public awareness. It is not a disease in the traditional sense of the word since you cannot catch it. The physical and psychological causes are men's penises vary in shape and size. Having a curved erection is common and isn't necessarily a cause for concern. However, in some men, Peyronie's disease causes a significant bend or pain. Although there are no psychological causes, Peyronie's disease can have many physical causes such as damage during sex, athletic activity, accidents, or any trauma to the penis. These also come with some risk factors, such as heredity, connective tissue orders, and age. These are the dysfunctions. In Peyronie's disease, where the penis becomes erect, the region with the scar tissue doesn't stretch and the penis bends or becomes disfigured and possibly painful causing many dysfunctions such as inability to have a sexual intercourse, unable or difficulty maintaining or achieving an erection, stress and anxiety due to the appearance of the penis, relationship stress with, the part, with that sexual partner, and if you are unable to have sex, then fathering your children might be a dysfunction as well. Treatment. Peyronie's disease can go away over time, so a doctor's initial treatment is to just see how it goes. This means monitoring your penis. If you are able to have intercourse, pain during it, getting an erection, and the curvature of the penis. If these symptoms worsen over time, treatment such as surgery is available. Medications such as Zyaflex reduces plaque formation and pain in the penis, and surgeries such as Suturing, the affected sign, incision and graphing, and penile implants are available. Also, shockwave therapy, which helps break up the scar tissue, is another form of treatment. On to preapism. Preapism is a prolonged erection of the penis. The unwanted persistent erection isn't caused by sexual stimulation or arousal, and preapism is usually very painful. It is an uncommon condition but needs an immediate medical attention to prevent tissue damage. It's most common in boys ages 5 to 10 and men 20 to 50. There are several types of preapism, such as ischemic and non-ischemic. Ischemic is also known as the low flow, which results in blood not being able to leave the penis. It is the most common type. Some symptoms consist of unwanted erection over four hours, often on er unwanted erections, rigid penile shaft, and penile and tender penis. For the non-ischemic preapism, also known as high flow, results when too much blood flows into the penis and it is usually painless. These symptoms are unwanted erection, lasting at least four hours, erect, erect but not rigid penile shaft. The physical and psychological causes. This type of erection normally occurs to physical or psychological stimulation. Blood vessels or nerves begin to change normal flow from stimulation, which results in unwanted erections. Here are some of the causes. Blood disorders, such as sickle cell anemia and leukemia. Prescription medications, uh, just like Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Other Medications like antidepressants and blood thinners will also contribute a cause to this. Do not abuse alcohol and drug use. Trauma to the penis, of course. That seems to be the number one cause for anything. Also, spinal cord injury and blood clots. Dysfunctions. Due to the fact that blood gets trapped in the penis during preopism, the penis becomes deprived of oxygen. The longer the erection, the less amount of oxygen flows through the penis, and after four hours, the oxygen-poor blood can damage or destroy tissue in the penis. The, the, these dysfunctions consist of erectile dysfunction, 
and ultimately disfigurement of the penis. Treatments. Because blood cannot escape the penis, it is important to take immediate action and get treatment for this condition. These tr treatments consist of diagnostic tests, such as blood, blood and gas measurement, blood tests and toxol toxicology tests, as well as certain medications. These are injected into the spongy tissue of the penis, which helps carry blood out of the penis to increase flow, and ultimately surgery can be done. It's a device that reroutes the blood flow. Thank you for listening to my infomercial. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.